Hello, so I'm finally getting around to doing the video on radiation units sort of on a whiteboard to simply explain them, or hopefully it will simply explain them. So, this is for ionising radiation, so dangerous radiation. And I've put the most common units you'll see on here. So, and this is sort of exposure type doses, not sort of, you know, activity of the source or anything like that. So we have Ronkens, also known as the Rinken, if you're American. Um, the proper German, spe German spellings there, Ronkens with the umlaut. Um, sometimes it's just abbreviated as an R. So if you see an R on a radiation reading, that normally means a Ronken. So that's pronounced Ronken or Rentgen, I believe is the correct pronounce now, pronunciation. Uh, it's certainly not Rentgens or Rontagens or Rontagen or, you know, anything like that. He was a German, not a Frenchman. Um, the units that replace it that you'll commonly see now are the Grey and the Sievert. The Siva is the most used unit, but I'll get in around in a minute to talking about why the grey probably should be used instead in a lot of applications. You also have the less commonly used RADs and REMs. Now, the RAD and the REM stand for Radiation or Rontgen Absorbed Dose, and the REM is the Rontgen Equivalent Man. So basically, both these units, RADs and REMs, one RAD is equal to one REM. So they're two different units, but essentially they are the same thing. So what I've done here is giving you a little thing that says, so the funny U uh, means micro, M means milli, C means centi. So as in micro sieva, milli sieva, centi sieva, and sort of, um, you know, if you just had the unit on its own, then it would be a ronken, a grey, or a sieva. I very, you very set, rarely see milli rads and milli rems, but I don't think I've ever seen like centre rads, centre rems, or anything like that. So... Basically, the grey and the sievert replace the ronken, or the ronken, because the ronken is the amount of air that's being ionised. One ronken equals one cubic centimetre of air being ionised. Also, a fun little bit of trivia, the Gost ronken and the Western equivalent, you know, of the ronken are both different units. So, if you hear a Russian person mentioning a ronken, it actually wouldn't be the, exactly the same as a Western ronken. It's a very minor difference. I think it's to do with air temperature that's being ionised, but I think the Gost ronken is zero Celsius being ionised, where the Western ronken is maybe 20, 21 Celsius being ionised. But, you know, it's a pointless thing. But anyway, ronkens are ronkens. Um, so, the reason the grey and the sievert replace them is they're to give you better indications of damage to humans. So, a grey is basically a, a certain amount of human tissue that's being ionised. And the grey and the sievert as single units are much, much higher than ronkens. Um, we'll get to that on the bottom of the board. Um, so, generally, with the greys and sieverts, you fit, see things like the micro and the milli sieverts, things like that, you know, because it's because they're smaller units, you have a smaller sort of thing for them. Because you don't want to say 0, 0.00, you know, whatever, of a uh, grey or a sievert. You want kind of a thing that makes them easier to measure that way. Rads and rems, um, obviously they keep the ronken sort of word in them. But one rad and one rem is exactly equal um, to one centigrade. So, basically, there's 114 ronkens in one centigrade or one sievert. Because they're massive units. Um, one rad equals 0 0.86 ronkens. Uh, sorry, one ronkin equals 0 0.86 rads, rems, or centigrade. Um, 1.14 ronkin would e be equal to one rad, if that makes sense. So basically, because if you added one four to that, it would make one. But um, some old units will basically say one R equals one CGY, and it technically doesn't on paper. But for simplicity reasons, the one point, you know, the point one four is sometimes just cancelled out. So they would say 100R equals, you know, one grey or one sievert. And, you know, one ronken would be equal to one rad, for example. They don't actually equal out because that's why they're different units. But so basically the easy way of thinking of it is one rad, one centre grey, one centre sievert. But you never really see the centre sievert. Or one rem is always equal to 1.14 ronken. So the difference between the sievert and the grey, because they're identical in terms of base numbers, is the sievert's basically a damage equation to humans, like a risk assessment sort of thing. So the easiest way of thinking of the sievert is basically if you had one grey of radiation, one grey of radiation to the head is a lot more dangerous than one grey of radiation to the foot um, in terms of like damage it would do to you. So that's why, you know, basically the sievert is more like kind of a hitbox type thing. Where, you know, different parts of your body might have different risk scores. If you ate a bit of radiation, you'd get a higher sievert rating than you would have a grey. Uh, as I said, I actually just generally like the ronken, just because it's quite an old measurement and it's very, very metric. Um, 
Now, I'll do a proper video again on sort of radiation danger levels, but basically anything over 100 Rontgens of exposure is really bad. Um, that's when radiation sickness sets in and you've got, you know, very high risks of long-term cancer. So basically you're looking at basically 114 Rontgen or 100 Rontgen plus um, or one grey or one sievert plus are very dangerous. Um, obviously, if there's background levels that elevated, that is dangerous if you're around them for a long period of time. But if you were just saying you were getting a one-off exposure, um, basically, that almost that bottom bit of the board is the really bad bit. But remember, no radiation exposure is actually good for you, in theory. But when it gets to the really scary level, that's when it's scary. So, generally, when you get above 200 or 300 rontgens up to about 1,000 rontgens, that's the death sort of area of it. Uh, the reason I say up to a thousand rontgens is because I don't think you're going to survive any more than that. Um, basically, the more rontgens you're exposed, to, you know, or any kind of these measurements you're exposed to, and the quality of the medical care is basically your survival chances. So if you're exposed to, say, 500 rontgens went to a very good hospital, you'd have a much better chance of surviving than if you had 500 rontgens went to, you know, not a very well equipped hospital. But, you know, if you get a really, really high radiation exposure, you're dead no matter what, because basically all your organs are going to fail. Your, uh, your tissue is just going to fall apart, basically. So hopefully that's exposed some of the ionizing radiation units and sort of explain them. But basically, yeah, the ones you're going to see most often are Rontgens, Greys, Sieverts, Rads and Rems. And it's easy to remember that one centre grey, as in one one hundredth of a grey, equals one Rad or one Rem, or 1.14 Rontgen. Um, so yeah, with the micros, millis and the centis, generally background radiation is always micro greys or micro sieverts. Background radiation is normally about 0.1 to probably 0.4 if you're in a very active area in terms of background on greys and sieverts. So, you know, let's say 0.2 micro sieverts is generally the background I get around here. However, if you were measuring your background reading in rontgens, you'd be looking at it something like you know, 200 micro rontgens, give or take a bit, or, you know, 0 0.1, 0 0.2 of a milli rontgen. Um, different Geiger counters and radiation measuring equipment use different ones of these, depending on, you know, when they were made, which country made them. And, you know, some are designed for measuring different ranges. Um, but yeah, I think that explains most of it, hopefully. As I said, the unit I like the most is a Rontgen, just because of the historical context of it, and it's, you know, been around for ages. Most of the worst human radiation disasters were always had a classic Rontgen measurement. You know, as in Chernobyl's fake 3.6 Rontgen uh, measurement that turned out to be well over 10 or 15,000 Rontgen per hour. Um, Greys and Sieverts obviously are used more in medical settings now. You'll find most modern decimeters will use either Grey Sieverts, Rads or Rems. I don't think anybody still makes radiation counters that do rontgens unless it's kind of like the digital ones where you can switch you know over to different units if you want to read it in the classic units and as i said just remember that sometimes certain geigers will do one r equals one center gray or whatever when that isn't actually the case but you know in that case i wouldn't use the um sort of rad or rem measurement if it's incorrectly used on there but yeah so there you go, that's um, sort of a 1920s radiation unit, the Rontgen, all the way up, you know, where they evolved into different things as time went on. Hopefully you found this useful.